Hello there guys and today we're back with a FIFA 20 career mode with Napoli and today we're episode 14. Now in today's episode, as you might have known from last episode, we have two games against Bayern Munich in the Champions League, both in the quarterfinal obviously. Um, now both are going to be played in this episode. So as you can see guys, the games remaining are, we don't have many games remaining, I think there's 12 games remaining, um, four there. Uh, six, eight, ten. Sorry, ten games remaining. So we're gonna do five per episode. But what I'm gonna do for the home games we have left. So I believe that's Milan, uh, Udinese, and then obviously a few here. I don't need to go through them all. But for the home games, I'm going to simulate them, and then for the away games, I will play them. And it is four home, four away, so it is even. Um, but we're gonna do that for the last two episodes before we go into next season. But before we even start thinking about next season, we still have this season to finish off. We need to finish off strong. Uh, this season so we have Bayern Munich first but quick look at the team before we go into that game again players stamina is not up to the stamina sorry energy uh, before the game isn't up to top peak condition still got a few players not up there so Marlon still not fully fit Insigne still not fully fit a few defenders not fully fit Bale, Malcoit, uh, Madison you know I could read for them all but I more or less did um, but yeah so I've gone with the team I have for now obviously I've left Madison on the bench I've left the Hula players on the bench, and I'm probably going to bring them on. I don't know. But like I say, we are away from home against Bayern, so it would be good to get at least a goal, get that away goal to give us some confidence going into the home game we play against them. But we'll see. We're going to do the uh, interview first anyway. Will you go into the next round? I'm going to put we have one of the best teams. Because we do, to be fair, on paper. 1-0 win. I'm guessing that was against Barcelona. Does your team have to take with score more goals today? I'm going to put a win, in a, wi a win is a win, and which it is, to be fair. Obviously, it's, it's common sense. Uh, your team is basking in great form recently. Do you continue to perform at lightning pace in uncle matches? I was going to put, we, we must avoid distractions, and that is true. Um, the Serie A is a big thing. We're only in six in the Serie A at the moment. So it is a little bit of a risk simming the upcoming games for that. Um, like I did say, I'm going to sim half of them, but... I just, I'm looking forward to next season. I'm looking forward to transfer budget. But at the same time, I do want to see how far we can come, uh, come uh, go in the Champions League. But we are against Bayern. Obviously, one of the best teams in Europe. And they're not going to mess around here. I'm sure of it. But we're going to see how we do. So, guys, what I wanted to do before the game just started was show you their starting eleven. Something I haven't really done uh, through the episodes here on this career mode. But I wanted to show you. So, Lewandowski, obviously, up front. Gnabry on the right. Perisic on the left. Andy Robertson. Starting on the left back there. Varane in defence. Interesting transfer there. Uh, I think uh, the stat this season in real life for, by, uh, for Lewandowski, I think it's something silly like he scored in every game. Some games twice. So he is going to be a player that obviously has to keep a really big eye out for because if he breaks free, nine times out of ten, he's going to score if he gets the opportunity. So we need to close him down straight away. There we go. Insigne in loads of room here. Can we get this passed in? Oh, the Hernandez knocks it out. It's got for a corner, though. Good start here by the lads. Uh, let's try to get it in Koulibaly here. Might be a bit close to the goalkeeper. He's not come out. Can we get ahead? No, unfortunately. Mertens playing him this game in cam uh, to start the game off instead of Madison. See how he goes. Normally, when he comes on, he does really well. So, I wanted to see how he would do from, you know, maybe the full 90 or at least 45 from the beginning. Oh, unfortunately, not able to find the pass there. They're going to break here. Gnabry, another good player. Keep an eye out for him. We go Gnabry in the box here. Going to try to get it across. Oh, my God. I thought that was going to go in. Koulibaly. I don't know what he was doing there. He didn't seem to get locked onto the ball. Goalkeeper went for it, though, which was good, I guess. At least one, one of our players went for it. Oh, Gnabry here. We're out, though. Mario's getting tangled up with Insigne. We need some players running up here. Who can I send? Is this Mertens? It is. Can he? Oh, he can't break free from Hernandez. Played it over the top. Insigne is cut back in. We're going to work our way into the box. Bit of skill. Take it right. Oh, unfortunately, defenders got to that pretty easily, to be fair. There we go. Can we send Bale? And we can. Bale's not free. He's still got opposition with him. Cut it back. Cross in. Head on it. Oh, wide by Mertens. Go. Marlon's through. Oh, he just couldn't get a shot off. Who was that? Varane or Hernandez? Just stopped him there from getting the shot off. Could have gone 1-0 up. And the aim is to at least get hopefully one goal this game. You know, so we have them away goals. Give us the great advantage next game. Dunye played through again. He's breaking through. Going to go for the shots. 
Marlon, can he get on a rebound? And he can. 1 0, Marlon. What a goal by Marlon there. Well, it wasn't the best. Insigne did all the hard work there, really, but he did great to get on the other end of that and make it 1 0. And that is what we needed. We needed that away goal. So then going into the second game of this, we don't feel too bad. You can see Insigne there fighting off the player towards the end. And Marlon, to be fair, is in a good position to get the rebound. And uh, yeah, 1 0. We go by in. Sergio, no, 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 oh, great defending there. I think Manolos just got to that. Lewandowski almost making it 1-1. Yeah, Manolos just defending that, great defending. Still not over yet, though. They've got a corner here. But Mandzukic off, took Muller off for Spina. That's out for another corner, I think. Who's that, Marlon? Marlon? Yeah, I'll bring, yeah, yeah, we'll do that sub, actually. Yeah, another corner here. Kalyan's quite tall as well, so he could probably help heading this away. Can we get this out? And we can. Madison, who's it with here? Kalyan. Yeah, Kalyan's broke with it now. Cut back in. Who's up top with me? Oh, awful pass, but at least it's out of our area. There's a foul there that's ended up in Bayern getting a free kick. Deadly area, if I'm going to be honest. He could score from this. And this is not what I need. Just right before the game ends, the spinner. Get it out, Espina. Yes, thank God. Just to speak, just kick it as far as you can. Please just get it away. And he has. Oh, oh I thought we were going to get on the end of that. Please just call a whistle, ref. Come on. Come on. Yes, there we go. 1-0 win against Bayern. That's all we needed. We was away from home. And like I say, the 1-0 win. Really great there. Could have done better, realistically. Um, you know, maybe scored two early on in the first half. But that's all we needed, the 1-0 win. So guys, after the game, I've had some player chats to go through. One from Zelinski there, I just replied. But I've got one from Kalyan. Disappointed not to play. Yet, yeah, I don't know if you guys seen, but I subbed him on late in the second half. I can't think what minute, but I definitely subbed him on. Because uh, Marlon come off. So, and then I get this player chat here. Disappointed not to play. Um, but he did play. So, if he doesn't start, does, that, does the game somehow think that he is not playing? Because he definitely is. Like Milic, that's fair enough. He hasn't actually been playing. Prove me I need to play you. But Kalyan definitely, definitely played in that game. I know he did. So here we have it, guys. Into our second game of the episode against Genoa. And now, just before this game, we had an email come through saying that Moret is back from injury. But obviously, I don't want to play him too soon. I know he is a goalkeeper, but I'm guessing they could still get injured. Because uh, I'm thinking more, you know, FIFA this way. Uh, even though he won't be running around, whatever, possibly getting tackled as much. I don't really want to play him just yet. Might put him in for the second game against Bayern. I don't know, but he's definitely back now, so we can start playing him. Oh, and I'm on the attack here. Need to defend this. Terrible defending. Wow, Ganoa 1 0 up. Three minutes in. Awful defending. I'm too busy chatting away and you're not, con not concentrating the game. You can see there, straight through the defence. And uh, 1 0. Here we go. Just won ourselves a free kick. Tried to do a um, fake shot with Marlon. And it just took me out. Just absolutely took me out. I'm going to go for the free kick. Like I've mentioned in a few episodes, I'm not the best with them. Oh, at least at least I got it over the wall. Um, I think the last two attempts, I either haven't got it over the wall or it just hasn't been on target. But that one was on target. I'm getting there. I'm learning. I'm learning the free kicks. No bail. Get the shot off. Rebound. I'm going to cross it back in. Try to get the head on it. Oh, so close. Was that Marlon with the head or Insigne? I think it was uh, Marlon. Fortunate not to go in. But Bale, to be fair, hasn't been doing a, a right lot for us as of recent. Like, as soon as we signed him, he was putting in goals left, right, centre. And then now, like, I don't know. I just don't really seem to be getting much of a touch of him. Oh, my God. Oh, how did I not clear that properly? Spina got it away. Mertens. Try to get on the attack here. Try to send Insigne down. Alan's going to get caught up eventually. Playing Sinje through and we have. He's on side. Go for the shot. There we go. One all. Insigne. Great goal. I was worried he's going to be offside. He's not going to be offside, is he? No. He's gone through. Goal. Great through ball there. And he's on side. And like I said, I was going to square it across to Marlon. But Insigne, he's got the finishing. And that's why I think possibly he'd be better in a 4-3-3. Closer to goal. Or even playing as a left forward. But doing just fine. There we go, Milic, pass to Fabian. Finesse shot, unable to get past the defender. Still got it though. Bale, Fabian, oh, still got it. Find it back to Milic, goes for the shot. 
Oh, unable to get on the rebound there. We've got ourselves a corner, though. Try to get it here near post. Too close to the goalkeeper. It was. And they've kicked it away, and they've got it away, I think. No, no. Still still in their half. Yeah, we're not going to get back on this. Milic. Get a shot away. Oh, come on. Oh, my God, as if. Lozano almost on the rebound to make it 2-1. In the dying 10 minutes of this game. We've got to get another goal. Working hard. Milic. Can he get a shot away? Oh, straight at the goalkeeper. Here we go. Milic again. Got to get it in. Yes. 2-1. And it, it was going to be. You know, we was in their box for so long. In and around it. And we just had to score. Milic has got that finishing. He's never going to miss. Lozano here. Cut back. Just trying to find Milic. Loads of space. I was worried that our player there. Uh, I think Fabian. Uh, possibly. Was going to get in the way, but he didn't. Oh no, Madison. I thought he was going to get in the way, but he didn't. And we got the goal. 2 1. Oh, Milic finds himself through again. Over the fake shot. Work away. Pass. Shoot. Oh, straight at the goalie. Probably should have shot sooner. Probably should have passed sooner as well. There we have it, guys. We have won. 2 1. Great win. Another three points. Just what we needed to get ourselves back up the table. Here we have it, guys. Our second game against Bayern. Now, we got the 1-0 win, obviously, in the first game. Now, this game, we could just coast it out, uh, coast it out and get the uh, draw, 0-0. But, you know, I'd like to add a few more goals onto that. But I don't want to go too, you know, too attacking because if we do risk it and lose by, you know, two goals, it would be very, very disappointing and annoying considering we built up this lead in the first game. Here we go, Insigne, loads of room on the left. Knocking it forward, going to get the cross in. On the head. Oh, almost 1-0. Oh, 1-0. What a goal by Marlon. We need to see the replay of that. Fabian, great cross in. Found Marlon. Quite a bit of space as well. And valid in. See here, out wide with uh, Fabian. Crossed in. And here he is. Actually, not a lot of space. Well, not as much as I thought anyway. Defender was quite close. But he's valid that in. You can see here, up close. Look at that. Valid in. Pass newer. And 1-0. Uh, so here we are, guys. We're into the second half now. Still 1-0 up in this game. 2-0 up on Agrega. Uh, one thing I didn't consider last game uh, when we played Genoa is that I should have um, probably rested a few more players for this game. Not that it's made such a big impact, really. It's only players like Bale I've had off the pitch and uh, Madison that isn't on at the moment. Although, it would have been nice to have them on. Tempted to bring Bale on this half. Depends how it goes. But, um, oh, it's offside as if. Um, but... This team so far is doing great. Just hoping to keep the score as it is. Or at least them not, not scoring another goal. <laughs> Zano. Oh, that was going in. That was definitely going in. I, I could just tell. It had a bit of a curve on it, that as well. That was going in. Got a throw in here, though. Can we get a cross out of it? We can. Malcoit crosses it in. Marlon. Oh, defenders just got to that, I think. Is that going out for a corner? Yes, it has. Going out for a corner. Koulibaly is very close to the goalkeeper there. He's asking for a near post. Mm, play it here. It's, still, oh, it's, it's gone way off where I pointed it, really. Overshot it. Too much power. And yeah, he's found his way past. Got a cross in. Head on it. Oh, not a decent header, really. Didn't really trouble the goalkeeper. Only 15 minutes left. Not long to go now. Just keep the lead. We're doing pretty well defensively, if I'm going to be honest. Lewandowski's hardly really had a touch of the ball. Um, saying that, watch him get to him now. But we're doing well. I haven't made any subs, I don't think, at the moment. I don't think I've made any. So we're, do we're doing well. We go Lozano's through. Probably last break of the game. Can he get it in? Oh, it's gone out. We'll put Callion on. See if he moans again about not being played. Even though he has been played, clearly. Let's try to get this through to oh, Kulabali, unable to or even get it to him. <laughs> Here we go, Kalion. Let's see if we can get another goal. Be nice to get another goal. Kulabali. Gonna go for the finesse first time. Nah. Straight in front of the goal. Uh, straight to the defender's chest. Oh, Kulabali's won it back there. Here we go, Kalion. Oh, I can't even get the pass. Oh, Mertens. Got a shot. Nah, no power. And that should be it. And that's it. 1-0 in both games. But it was tough. You know, Bayern do defend well. And they do have, you know, good defenders. One of the top teams in Europe, obviously. So, just nice to go through. Just nice to go through this stage. 
Now, I know at the start of the episode, I mentioned how we'd only have 10 games remaining, blah, blah, blah. Uh, actually, before I go on with that, uh, we have gone through. Paris have gone through. Wow, 6-1. Bloody hell. Atletico Madrid, 5-1. Real Madrid, 4-2 against Liverpool. So, the teams to face, well, that we could face, are either Paris, Atletico Madrid, and Real Madrid. Now, that will be... A good semi-final, let's just say it. But anyway, at the start of the episode, I did mention how there's only like 10 games left. You know, da -da -da, four, four or five games an episode. But obviously, I didn't have much confidence going into that that we would get past Bayern. But we have. So, you know, there's obviously going to be more. I think there's going to be like three episodes now. Uh, we've got 10.5 million, well, more money from Champions League again for getting into the semi-finals. We've got the game coming up here against Milan. We're going to sim that. Uh, I did say we're going to sim the home games. Tempted to put a weaker team. Transfer offer again for this for this Di Lorenzo. I think I'm going to have to just... I don't know. I, I'm, I'm going to sell him. Like, the first one I just didn't listen to. I just didn't see it and I forgot. 7.7. .7. Let's just delegate it. See what uh, our assistant manager can get for both deals, actually. Uh, we're just going to delegate again. See if we can get the most money. Because I probably will sell him. Because for transfer... January, trans, January, bloody hell. Uh, for the summer transfer window coming up, if we do keep the job, you can see our 73 manager rating there. If we do keep the job, I do want to sign a new right back and left back. Although they've done a good job all season for us, uh, I do want to sign you know better players there. Um, I think I'm going to put Milic here, and then Lozano. Put that as Bale. Oh, I did want to put Moret in goal actually. Yeah. Oh no, he's still got that injury sticker though. Yeah, actually, I'm not going to put that. I'm not going to put him on. If he didn't have that sticker, I'd, I'd stick him on, but I don't want him out again. Especially with us going through on the um, Champions League. Last thing I'd want is for him to be injured. I want him back for that. Our speed has been great. Let's not um, let's not say that. How will your team approach the remaining fixtures? Go out there. Players need to prove themselves. We'll stick. We'll put goal. goal yeah, can't even get my words out. We'll go with that. Last time he scored two goals on Milan and made it look easy. The lads have what it takes. The only one, uh, that close call motivates us, yeah. We'll go with that. Like I said, I am simming this game, so I'm hoping FIFA does us a favour here and gets us the win. Uh, is the team looking alright? Yeah, the team's looking fine. Because I feel like, and what a lot of other YouTubers have said, that simmed games go off actual players' overalls. What have we got? Wow, we've lost 2-0. we lost 2-0 and Milan... Uh, we lost 2-0 and Milic is off injured. Great. Maybe we shouldn't have seen that game then. Maybe we should have played it. Well, not maybe. We should have. Do you know what I mean? We wouldn't have had a player injured. I highly, highly doubt we would have had a player injured. And I don't think we would have lost 2-0. But that sets us back even more in the Serie A now. Let's have a look at the table right now because it's not looking good at all for getting Champions League football. We're currently in six. Inter Milan. I've only drawn one and only lost one. 91 points. Inter and Juventus are just miles away from everyone else. Look at the points. Lazio on 69. Juventus almost 20 points ahead. Do you know what I mean? It's really hard to keep up with them, guys. We have 120. Um, drawn 5. Lost 7. Lost way too many games there. And especially drawn. I think feel like in games where we're going to draw, we should just go we just, should just go for the win. You know, most times you might lose, but going for the win, you know, the three points... You, <laughs> can't explain it. We understand. If we're going to draw, it's better going for the win and possibly having a the loss there. You know, but anyway, guys, that's it for today's episode. If you enjoyed it, leave a like down below, leave a comment, and I'll see you all next time.